Good afternoon everyone. Um, I'm, we thought it would be nice to make a little video to say hello and make contact and tell you how things are going during this difficult time uh, for staff and for children and at school. Um, this is my third go, the first one. Um, somebody started out um, shouting for their dog in the garden, behind our garden. Uh, and then the second one, apparently I didn't smile once. So uh, apparently I look very severe. Uh, and I'm aware that uh, the sun's going in and out of my eyes, but we'll have a good go and see how we get on. Um, we're in our fourth week since uh, school's closed to most of you, and it feels very quiet whilst those of us who are in are in, and um, without people moving around and charging around at lunch times, um, very odd. Um, I'm working from home for some of the time, and I'm trying to get up early so it's lovely and quiet. Um, very lucky that we've got lots of birds behind us, and as it's warm, I'm trying to work in the garden. Um, at the garden table, and I love being outside. Um, well, I've had to make this uh, odd sunshade out of uh, cardboard to go over everything so I can see my screen during when the sun comes out. Um, so you can see there's my shed, and then over that side is the bench, and we hopefully will see our little friendly Robin who comes to see us at this time of afternoon. Um, trying to tame him, but uh, he just sits and stares at me and then flies off. So uh, hopefully you'll see him over my shoulder at some times. Um, I do think it is important to get outside of the house, particularly when we're not allowed to go to the park or into town for more than small yeah. periods of time. Um, and I do try and take that moment just to uh, stop and uh, listen. But I've spoken to a friend who's ahead, who's hoping to do outdoor assemblies. I don't know if I'll need my big megaphone uh, to speak to all of you, but perhaps when we're back together in the summer, or whenever it is, uh, we can hold on good days, on what nice warm days, we can hold our assemblies outside. I think that'll be fab. So I'm going to make some suggestions how you can look after yourself during lockdown. Uh, I'm going to take a moment of reflection and a moment to uh, pause for a moment. Uh, and we're going to think about those people who continue to work to make sure that we're safe and well and able to continue with our lives as normally as we can, although we're stuck in the house. Um, you probably know school is open for the children of key workers. Uh, and key workers are the people that do jobs such as working for the NHS or in care homes, working as carers, visiting people. But there are also those jobs that aren't health related, and um, whether it be pharmacies as well, which I suppose is health related. Um, but people working in farming and irrigation for the farms and food production and shops and police and fire service, armed forces, so many more jobs. So there's so many people out there uh, still working uh, to make sure that we're okay. So we've got staff working on a rotor, uh, so they're either in school working with the children or they're working from home doing all the tasks that Mrs Carr and Mr Singleton and I have set them, as well as keeping your online uh, learning going. And I love reading your blog posts and the comments and I must start getting onto those and I, I know that our TT Roxdale's I've got a lot of challenges lining up so I'm ready for that this afternoon. There are children coming into school on a daily basis and we're so proud of how they're doing. It's hard for them but you know as we would that, that they're being stars all the time. Um, in terms of you, I know it's been hard talking to some parents to change from working from home, um, sorry, working at home uh, rather than uh, working at school. Um, I did see a lovely video where uh, parents had told children they had to still wear their uniform and only told them after three days it didn't actually uh, matter. Um, I know that some of you are doing lots of work online and some of them find it a little bit harder, um, but do see if you can get onto the sites like TT Rockstars and the Edge Sheds and the Purple Mash, but we will be sending out more information uh, to your parents because there's more things coming out and there's a, a, a new thing that the, uh, the Department of Education have done some more activities you can do. But there are also some things that I think you'll love, and I'll put the uh, link, I think it will be under here in the information section. Um, but there's a blogging uh, site called radioblogging.net, it's a children's radio station, it's uh, for Key Stage 2, so years 3, 4, 5 and 6, and it's run by um, Pi Corbett, uh, who's the poet, and various other people, and it's on 9.30 live every day at uh, www.radioblogging.net. Or you can access it later in the day. But if you go live, you can take part in the lessons posting on their blog, which for parents is moderated and safe. Um, and they have different poets and authors on. So it's an English site, but it's lovely to listen to. Um, but if you're in year 5-6 and have read uh, Cogheart by Peter Bunsell, 
Um, he's on with the team next week. So I think that's really fab. I think you'll love that. Younger children, or the younger at heart, will love Storytime YouTube channel, which has lots of picture books being uh, read by teachers, um, and some of my favourites are on there. And there are also lots of things like, I know Julia Donaldson's got uh, um, some of her books being uh, put uh, onto film, and they've been shared, and Oliver Jeffers has got a YouTube channel as well, and we'll put all that information out for you. Um, now, Mrs Emery is teaching all of the staff... Uh, through video conferencing how to do Makaton and you know that we uh, we tried that last year we did more and more and more we used uh, the singing hands in assemblies and we also uh, did we wish you a Merry Christmas all together as a school um, but she's now putting videos of her she's very brave and she's far better at this video stuff than I am um, she doesn't have to do it three times um, She's put videos on there so have a go at those and uh, you know I've learned this afternoon is good afternoon. Um, so she's uh, doing some lovely stuff so do use that and again I'll put the link underneath here Inspire Plus, our friends over there have uh, put some videos on, some little challenges and you can see uh, Sam has uh, put a few uh, funny things on there and Sarah Ooten is uh, showing updates from her farm so uh, Inspire Plus uh, link will be underneath um, and then Miss Barton is filming some little exercise videos and challenges which will be on our YouTube channel so do take a look at those as well. Talking to Mrs Carr and Mrs Thompson, we do think we need to perhaps just look at uh, some things we can help you in terms of looking after yourselves. I found it's really important to structure my day, so I do get up early and then uh, I try and finish uh, work and shut my laptop down and not work in the evening, so I have some time for me. Because you wouldn't believe how much time I'm spending on Zoom and teams and video conferencing and things like that so i have to get dressed each day i do think it's quite good not to be in your jammers at three o'clock know that when it's daytime and evening time um but also give yourself little tasks so um i'm sure your mums and dads will be delighted if you volunteer to tidy your bedroom first thing make your bed and make sure your room's lovely to be in um and then offer to help round the house. But also think about when you're going to be indoors and when you're going to be outdoors. Um, as I say, I try and work out here. Um, but also think about reading and colouring time and quiet time and screen time. I had a bit of a shock on Saturday. Um, took the day off, didn't work, I was a really good boy. Uh, and at the end of the day I looked on the little app on my phone and I'd spent over three hours playing Golf Challenge, which isn't a very good use of my time. Um, so I've limited myself to that, so uh, I'm spending trying to spend more time uh, in the garden, uh, not just working, but uh, doing a few jobs and then also going out for walks. I'm also taking a moment, just those reflective moments and pausing that we did quite a lot last year. If you remember those breathing activities that we taught you, Mrs Carr's favourite was the old butterfly breathing, the slowly rocking and breathing in time, and then my favourite is just the breathing using your fingers to breathe in and breathe out breathe in and if I just stop now you can hear Blossom next door next door's dog but you of course hear the birds and we're very lucky we've got loads of birds roosting in the trees at the end of our garden and we live near two air bases and there aren't any pla planes at the moment um, so it's really quiet it's really lovely so we try and find that moment of quiet each day you might do it as a family or you might do it on, uh, on your own um, and then also think about some of those mindfulness things that we've done with Mrs Thompson and Mrs Carr. Just those things of stopping, looking around the room or looking out of the window or the front of the house or looking in the garden and name five things you can see. You don't have to write it down, you don't have to do a challenge or anything just for yourself. Five things you can see, five things, four things you can hear, three things you can feel, that's if you're outside, uh, two things you can smell and one thing you can taste, or this is something you're aware of. So just those moments to stop. I want to finish off uh, by saying how proud we were to see all your rainbows as we drove around Long Sutton delivering your packs and as we're down round delivering food parcels. This is a really difficult time and people are worrying and there are people we know have been affected uh, by this disease. But don't forget, there are people continuing to work to make sure that we're all safe and well and able to continue our lives as normally as we can now, but more normally in the future. 
and that's something we should be grateful and thankful for. So we're going to try and do more of these videos and little assembly things and um, what have you. And just remember, as you watch this and we finish, that you're at Long Sutton Primary School and you're special and you're loved. Uh, and we show our best when things are tough and our backs are against the wall. And we will be back together and we will be able to show everyone how amazing we are when things are safe for us to do so. So I'm going to sign off and say goodbye and uh, see if this one's worked and see if I've smiled enough because Mrs Lord said I look grumpy. So she'll see you soon and goodbye.